everyone, it's Trap Legend here, and this is a short video on the Primordial Malevolence, which is the first boss I'm gonna fight in the Between Lands. If you don't know what the Between Lands is, it's basically just the best Minecraft mod. That's at least what I'd say about it too, a gemstone. So, I've been trying for a very long time uh, to beat hardcore true darkness, which is, well, I think it might be hardcore darkness, which means that if it's dark, it's very dark. For example, uh, as you hear, it gets very dark when light level zero is reached, like this dark. I don't have any torches on me, but this this world I was lucky to find the White's Fortress and survive it and get a lot of gear. And uh, there's actually another White's Fortress nearby which I haven't actually looted, but that's beside the point. So I've been able to get really far. And uh, while this day, <laughs> well, while the rift is open and we can see, I'm going to be fighting the first boss for me in the Between Lands. I don't think there's actually like a, uh, what is it, like, which boss you have to fight first and stuff. But I'm just gonna fight this one first, because I know that's not super hard. I've cleared this ages ago to get myself some gear. There's these jump scare things that do a little bit of damage. Well, I've, I guess I should have told you about them if you don't know it's random jump scares in my video, but I should be able to uh, beat him because I have a lot of gemstones. I have basically diamond gear equivalent of in well in between lands. White's Bane, which is one shot, it's white minions and shockwave sword and beat with bow for just I guess killing the boss. I haven't fought this guy in a long time, so I actually don't know if it's like stronger than uh, the last time I fought, but uh, let's see. I'm fighting mostly, don't think I'm on Rick. Interesting. Yeah, actually I haven't, uh, yeah, I've never seen that dialogue. Right, oh, this arena is a lot smaller than I remember, but it makes sense. Basically the thing with this boss is, he has a shield. Can I place torches? I can. And uh, you have to do this and break parts of the shield, I think. And then you can like hit through there, but I'm not gonna risk it because if you hit the wrong part, you're obviously gonna take damage. What's it doing? Okay. Intriguing. Let's see for the green ones. Oh, there's oh, there was three, and I missed every single one of them. Whoops. Being very passive right now. Okay, more. There we go. And I think he stuns from that, but he has some shockwave things. Again, I can't really hit him. There we go, there's a hidden. I know how much health this guy has. I'm guessing that hurts you, and you have to be like up or down depending on. Uh, can I place blocks here? That's actually interesting. One shot. Basically, the white spain deals really low damage, but it one shots whites. There's a couple of weapons in the between lands that uh, one shot certain mobs, but deal basically nothing to the others. So they still 72. And the minions, I think, only have 30. Which makes sense, but doesn't really matter when I'm gonna one shot them anyway. There we go. Yeah, oh, there's. Uh, misclick. Well, misclick, just hitting wrong. But you can see how this fight works. It does have a kind of harder face. Like, if I don't use that weapon, it's gonna take way longer to kill them, as you can see. The thing is that whites are mainly dangerous if there's other mobs around them, because they have this attack where they, like, possess, I guess, the mob. So you have to kill the mob to stop getting hit. But this one doesn't have any extra mobs, so it doesn't really matter. Does that deal damage? I don't think it does, it doesn't look so. My gear is very strong for this though. Because I've been very lucky, so I don't think this guy's gonna be much of a threat. But I haven't fought this in a long time, so it could be wrong. Can I shoot him through there? Whatever. Oh, there's a green one. Oh. Hello there. Take this. Yeah, okay, missed. <laughs> Great. Maybe. Don't use the button. Okay, good. How did I not get that? 
Whoopsie. It looks to be summoning, I think. Yeah. This is a song for torch, not the best weapon. Yeah, I keep missing the green ones. What you gonna do next? Summoning, I think. Yeah, such a long animation for that, too. I get hit by one of the greens, but it's fine. That's a little. Ow. Oh, he's hiding. There's some good hits. I like. Oh, that's a really good 23 damage. I have a uh, gemstone on my shockwave sword that has like strength abilities. What you gonna do? There we go. It's a pretty simple boss fight, but it's a lot cooler than like most mods have their boss fights. There's some weak hits in, but some hits. Oh, there's a pretty good one. Oh, I got him. Oh, he doesn't take fire damage yet. Which makes sense. Bye bye. I have another one of these at home. That's still damage. Oh, it does. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I just kind of looked at it like a summoning attack, but it just takes a part of the arena so you can't use it. Stop spinning so much. Ooh, some good hits on there. Health, health. Seems to be going well. Can I use my Ring of Descent? Oh, I can! This basically gives you like a slight flight. You can't really go much up though. So I can just use it here. Give me a ball. Oh no, I don't want to fall off. I don't know what happens if you fall off. Do you lose the fight? Oh, not this attack. Along with that thing where I can't... Uh, go in that certain position. That's gonna hurt a bit. Oh no, I got through. That's nice. Oh god, I have to fight. I can't stay in this. Okay, it can deal damage for sure. We just switch the food. Because you can get bored of food in between lines, so I have to switch them to get the maximum heal. Ow, ow. There you are. Oh, it's doing that attack again. Oh, it stops if I stun it, that's nice. Okay, let me just heal. I want to die in my hardcore. Nice hit there. The whites, you're nothing to me. That you spawned only one, that's pretty unfair. A bit laggy with the bow there. Oh, oh my god, I just missed that. We don't, we don't look at that. Oh god, right. No, it's becoming very dark, yeah. So this is the hardcore darkness mod. But at least I have torches placed. If I didn't, this would be a lot of a different story here. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't see that. Nice shot. Gets another one. Yeah. Oh, the, I can't see the thing that shoots stuff because of the hardcore darkness. Yeah, I guess it's not good for boss fights, but it really does make the actual non-boss experience a lot better. Yeah, take that. Okay. Let's not lose too much health here. Okay, I can see that there's something there. Oh, I can take it. Bye bye, wait. I doubt I need to break to get any more of the grace, though. Oh, it's this attack, but I just can't see it. Last time moving in circles worked pretty well, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. Yep, seems to work just fine. Maybe just play some, like, torches, maybe here. So I can see the, uh... Oh, that guy had a strength rune gem something. Yes, I can see them now, that's nice. I'm smart. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It did deal some damage, finger for recruitment. What hits me? <laughs> okay. A lot of XP. I think XP in this. Oh. I'm a slot. That's interesting. So, yeah, basically, I have. Can I equip three? I can equip three. 
basically I had in gear I guess this which has the grants the gift of levitation at the cost of XP but it's levitation it kind of launches you in the air but you can't like go further but what does the new one do or recruits probably grants the power to recruit and control entities right shield by pressing R in the primary slot to absorb recruited mobs health that seems really strong especially for later bosses I know the spirit tree is somewhere here then there's this large uh, tentacle guy no idea where he is and then uh, I need to kill the pizza mummy the dreadful one which I think is spawn but basically with this levitation thing I can do this so I can get down and I'm just trying to fall as I said you can see this is hardcore darkness yeah, I'm levitating above ground a little bit. Kind of like a hoverboard, let's be honest. What happens if I'm over water, though? Oh, I guess to levitate. So yeah, I want to see my house. It's really cool. It's just this tree, because I always just use a tree for a house. But yeah, there's that boss. And uh, see, in the next boss fight, maybe. I could be dead by that point, and I don't think that that just means that there won't be a video on it. So... See ya.